To our other top story tonight, we are staying on top of a news alert as we get new details on a chase that started in Plant City and ended in a deadly crash in Lakeland. Investigators spent the last eight hours piecing together what happened at this scene right here. They say it all started with a call for help, claiming a woman was being held against her will in a car. And 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser is live in Lakeland this evening. Eric, they say it escalated when police spotted that car. That's exactly right, Dave. I should mention, by the way, that the roadways are now open this evening, but they had been closed for several hours. Plant City Police basically say this absolutely met the criteria for their pursuit of violent felony suspect who had refused to pull over, but this is absolutely not the way that they or anyone hoped that this particular chase would end. There were several injuries to include the suspect and also there was one fatality. This is the aftermath of a multi-city police pursuit, all of it starting around 9.35 this morning in Plant City when a woman called 911 saying she'd been kidnapped. The dispatchers uh, believe they heard something to the extent of the passenger, female passenger, had been stabbed or was stabbed. Plant City Police say the circumstances met their department policy to initiate and continue a pursuit. Based on the initial information that we got, that this, this woman had been uh, possibly stabbed, that would satisfy you know, our criteria because that, that, would, that was an aggravated assault or an aggravated battery. The chase made its way from Plant City East along I-4, where officers briefly called off the pursuit, but soon after spotted the suspect's white Mercedes near Lakeland. As officers initiated the pursuit again, dispatchers also received word that the woman inside the car had somehow gotten out. We were with her, an officer, uh, one of our detectives, and I believe a Lakeland officer were with her. They discerned that she was okay. We had the correct person who was a victim, and then the crash had happened. That crash, say investigators, involved six cars, including the one that they'd been chasing. Witnesses say the suspect tried to run for it, but was tackled by officers. In all, four people were transported to the hospital. One of them died. They were just a, a unfortunate, innocent victim. Again, the suspect in this case was injured. He was taken to the hospital where he will be facing charges stemming not from the uh, not only from the initial kidnapping call, but also from this deadly crash as well. Guys, back to you. Erica, a lot of questions here. The relationship between the man and the woman who were in that car initially. Do we know anything about that at all? Yeah, well, well, the only thing that we really know in the absence of names right now, Dave, is that we were told that this was not random. This wasn't somebody that was pulled off the street or pulled into the car. It appears that this started with some sort of domestic dispute and simply went from there. Reporting live in Lakeland, Eric Glasser, 1010.